Yay, Sonic Riders. Second only to Mario Kart and Arcade Racing. The game dude made a review of Sonic Riders and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Remember him from my third degree commentary? He's actually much more known for remaking every single one of his videos rather than actually copying off the angry video game nerd. Strange, huh? Like I said before, I'm addicted to these review commentaries of Sonic games. So how will this differ from my other commentary? Whenever the game dude says something that's complete nonsense, I'm going to show footage that I made just to prove him wrong. Start. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah oh man. Sonic Riders. Ah, uh, another Mario Kart clone. Like, how many of them do we need? So just because it's an arcade racer, it's a Mario Kart ripoff? Let's see what Sonic Riders has that Mario Kart doesn't. Air boards? Check. Air shoes? Check. Air motorcycles? Well, they did it first. More vehicles? Check. Fuel system? Check. Level up system? Check. Grinding, flying, and crashing through walls? Check, check, check. Tricks? Well, like the motorcycles, Sonic did it first. And you want to know what they all have in common? They all suck. I love Mario Kart. If it's a complete ripoff, it wouldn't suck. Now, uh, I guess this one isn't really a Mario Kart clone. I mean, it's a futuristic hoverboard racing game. Please rewind this video by 40 seconds. But it might as well be. And besides, it's still definitely another shitty Sonic game. But now, the birds. Why are there birds? They needed new characters for this spin-off of the Sonic series. I mean, imagine if Amy all of a sudden started riding a board, and then Sonic just wanted to join in. That's not that great of a story. Ah, uh, you know what? Why bother? I mean, they'll never be erased from existence, so I guess you might as well just accept them, right? Well, you can accept them, not me. And how do you suppose you'll do that? Sure, you can skip the cutscenes that they're in, but when they're in the race, you can't just pretend they don't exist. I mean, why are there so many characters? All we need, or actually need dead, were Sonic and Tails! I'd say we don't even need Tails. But now they suck too. They all suck. They can all go... row a boat. And fall down a waterfall. And die. Here's my reasoning. A joke has to be funny for it to be a joke, right? Well, I didn't find that funny, so that means that it must be taken seriously. Nah, I'm kidding. But seriously, that joke wasn't that great. But, you, you know what? You know what the best part about this game is? The, the gloves. I mean, look at those gloves. Those... Those are some realistic gloves, man. Like, wow, you can see, like, every single strand. I'm impressed. It looked much more like a CGI glove to me. Here's a real glove. That, that's the best part about the game, the gloves. But anyway, this is one of those games, you know one of those games you, you look at and you're just like, uh, you know, like, why bother, right? I said some things in my third degree commentary about playing the game and credibility and my beliefs about that pretty much remain the same. Sure, the person who's played the game is more credible, but you shouldn't completely ignore someone that didn't play it. They might still make some interesting points. However, just looking at the cover without doing any research... Ugh. This is one of those games, right here. This is, this is one of those games. It just, it just might as well not exist. So, anyway, let's play this game. Ignore the cool sound effects. They're nothing but a lie. Now, I know you're looking at this and you're thinking, this doesn't look bad, but trust me, don't be deceived by the nice colorful graphics. It's garbage. The controls are abysmal. I wouldn't say so. I'd say it just takes some practice. Here's some footage. <laughs> the walls going all over the place and sure you move fast but not fast enough for the wide and long racetracks what there's plenty of turning 
The track you're showing here, however, has the second least amount of turning in the game, so I'll, here's one with a lot of turning. Also, collecting all the rings is nearly impossible because you can't maneuver fast enough to get them, and they come out of nowhere. There's nothing worse than missing an entire row of nice, shiny rings. Just stay in a line. Nothing. You know what's really annoying? That voice that keeps repeating itself. Thankfully, it's a hot chick's voice. If you hate it so much, why not just turn it off? Well, there you have it. Sonic Riders. It sucks. But you want to know what the worst part about the game is? The absolute worst part? Uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh. Dragging out things is fun, isn't it? Can someone explain to me how the fact that there's a sequel impedes the first game in any way, shape, or form? Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Now, if there's no gravity, then how can they hoverboard? I mean, won't they just be, like, floating around and stuff? You know, I never got the title either. They should have called it Sonic Riders Bending Gravity. Never mind, but... Now, the gloves, I mean, they're even more detailed now, like, look, look at those gloves! Like, why are they so detailed? I'm serious, those are the most realistic, computer-animated gloves I have ever seen. I'll admit they look nice, but they don't look realistic at all. Do you want to see the realistic glove again? In fact, you know what? I think to put more time into making those gloves look so realistic than into making the game good. I'm not joking. Anyway, let's check it out. Ignore the cool sound effects again, they're just another lie. I haven't been saying anything about these things like the sound effects and more effort than into the actual game because I would just be saying that's your opinion over and over again. I need to find opinion that I can argue about. Anyway, it's not much better or different than the original, but the graphics are definitely nicer. The motion sensitive controls are interesting, as always, but lack precision, so they're just as bad as the analog controls of the first one, so you're gonna crash into all the walls and be all over the place. First off, about the Wii Remote controls, you can use the GameCube controller. This is actually like the only game on the Wii that gives me the option to use the GameCube controller that I actually do it. Second, although that I'll admit that the controls are more sensitive in this game than in the original Sonic Riders, it just takes time to get used to. It's like reviewing a stick shift vehicle in real life and saying, oh, you're just gonna crash into walls all the time, so why bother? Oh, and those birds are back. Gotta love those damn birds. Sorry for not saying this sooner, but because they're the villains, you're not generally supposed to like them. Sure, there are some exceptions in the media like Darth Vader, but that's usually the rule. The following footage wasn't recorded by me, but it still gets the point across. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. This isn't half bad for an amateur. Still, you can never be too careful. Dirt suit you so well. Ugh. I'm pretty sure Jet knew about Wave's plan, and yet he insults Sonic anyway. 
Well, that's pretty much just it. It sucks. It also might as well be just another Mario Kart clone, and it's just another crappy Sonic game. Well, there you have it. Two more shitty Sonic games to add into the growing pile of crap. There's no point in my going through all those Sonic games right now. I'm going through one of them at a time. Now, how long is it going to take before we get a good Sonic game? Well, there you have it. Two more shitty Sonic games to add into the growing pile of crap. Of course, you can't have a review of Sonic the Hedgehog without going into a whole rant about his legacy, can you? How long? Hopefully, Sonic Unleashed, this new upcoming Sonic game, will be good. I mean, I think they already fucked it up. I mean... Sonic? No. No. I mean, what are you gonna do next? Turn Shadow into a fucking vampire? Uh... That actually sounds pretty cool. end of this review, so long live the nerd, rest in peace Steve Irwin, cheerio!